Welcome back to my channel. Today I will show the movie called Doctor Strange in Multiverse of Madness. Watch out and enjoy the movie. The movie starts following a variant of Doctor Strange, dubbed Defender Strange, and a young girl named America Chavez in a plane between universes called the Gap Junction. They are attempting to escape a ribbon creature and reach the Book of Ashanti, an ancient book of knowledge and power that is thought of as the opposition of the Darkhold, which corrupts everything and everyone that touches it. The creature is apparently looking to take America's ability of multiversal travel. She doesn't have any control or understanding of how her power works, it only works when she's really afraid, but if she's drained of it, it'll kill her. Just before they can reach the book, though, the creature blocks their path, and Strange is unable to contain it. Believing there's no other option, he begins draining America for power himself, claiming that, as the main MCU's Doctor Strange did in Spider-Man, No Way Home, putting the greater good before an individual's well-being. America attempts to retrieve the Book of Vashanti, but the creature manages to grab hold of her. Her fear allows her to create a portal into another universe, but she falls into it with the help of a dying Strange. She also falls into the portal. As the main MCU Strange wakes up, he thinks it was just a bad dream. Upon awakening, he gets ready for Christine Palmer's wedding. Arriving there, he's met by his former colleague Dr. Nicodemus West, who was also snapped out of existence by Thanos during their five-year blip, just like Strange was. Within the time he was gone, his brother passed away. This leads Strange to question whether there was truly no other way to have beaten Thanos, but he claims he made the only play they had. The ceremony begins, and although Strange appears sad throughout, he approaches Christine and confesses his regrets about how things ended between them. She believes they wouldn't have worked out anyway and claims she's happy with her life. As she wanders off, Strange hears a collision in the distance and notices chaos in the streets. He suits up and arrives at the scene to face an invisible creature wreaking havoc. He confronts the creature, revealed to be Gargantos, a gigantic tentacled monster. He helps save a young girl from the chaos and recognizes her as the same girl from his dream. Before he can understand what's happening, he must deal with Gargantos. He eventually kills the creature, and Wong, the Sorcerer Supreme, arrives to assist. Strange confronts America, who explains that it wasn't a dream but a multiversal experience. They discuss their experiences, including the events of Spider-Man, No Way Home. Interestingly, America hasn't met a Spider-Man variant before. Also, Strange seems to no longer remember Spider-Man's identity. America explains that a creature attacked her to obtain her powers of multiversal travel. She mentions the Book of Ashanti, which could give them the power to defeat their enemy. Wong explains that the book does exist, but is considered unreachable. America claims she and her Doctor Strange reached it. She proves her claims by taking them to Defender Strange's corpse. Realizing the creature that killed his variant and the one they fought both had runes marked on them, Strange realizes this is witchcraft rather than sorcery. Wanda Maximoff, also known as the Scarlet Witch, dreams of a peaceful life with her sons, but wakes up from it. After losing her loved one, Vision, and creating a fantasy world to be with him, she's struggling with her powers. She's met by Strange, who asks about her knowledge of the multiverse. He reveals a girl who can travel through it is being pursued by a demon. Wanda suggests taking America in for protection, which raises Strange's suspicions as he hadn't mentioned America's name yet. Wanda admits sending creatures after America using the Darkhold to absorb her power. She warns Strange to hand over America by sundown or the Scarlet Witch will come for her. Fortified defenses are prepared as Wanda arrives. Strange tries to reason with her, but she offers him an opportunity. If he hands over America, if he hands over America, she'll send him to a world where he can be with Christine, but he declines her offer. So, she begins her attack by entering the mind of one of their sorcerers and frightening him enough that he attempts to run away. She then enters through the now-weakened shield and kills many of the sorcerers. She destroys Commodage, before following the surviving sorcerers into the sanctum. But upon entering, Strange traps her inside the mirror dimension, in which she quickly realizes she can use its reflections to escape and returns through the reflections of the real world. Then, dispatching of Strange and Wong, before beginning to absorb America's power. But her fear once again causes a portal to open, and Strange saves America by jumping through it, with her traveling through various other dimensions before landing in another universe's New York. Since America is unable to consciously create a portal that can send them back, Strange suggests they find her variant from this new universe. However, she reveals that there are no variants of her in any universe and instead suggests finding this universe's Doctor Strange. 
so they travel to the sanctum, and as they do, America makes a quick stop to get some pizza balls that she believes are free at first, until they're stopped by the guy working at the pizza stand, Pizza Papa, played by Bruce Campbell, a close friend of the film's director Sam Raimi, who's made multiple cameos in Raimi-directed films before, specifically in the Spider-Man trilogy, after starring in the two's breakout film Evil Dead back in 1981. After Pizza Papa threatens to squirt mustard on Strange, though Strange casts a spell that leaves him beating himself up for the next three weeks. Also, on their way to the Sanctum, they stumble upon a memory playback establishment called Memory Lane. It begins playing back a memory of Strange and Christine having a nice dinner together, during which she gifted him the watch he's worn since his first film back in 2016. America then plays back a memory of her own, with hers being the last day she saw her mother's before they were transported to another universe. After America got scared by a bee and unintentionally opened a portal for the first time, she believes they're dead, but Strange gives her hope, claiming if they're anything like her, then they know how to survive. They finally do make it to the Sanctum Sanctorum, but only to learn that this variant of Strange had died, sacrificing himself during Earth's battle against Thanos. So instead, they're met by the new master of the Sanctum, Baron Karl Mortar, who, in Marvel's main universe, grew a hatred for Strange after he broke the natural law and went against their teachings to save Earth from being engulfed into the dark dimension by Dormammu back in 2016. This universe's Mortar, however, greets Strange with a big hug and reveals that his Doctor Strange had always suspected this day would come before welcoming him and America into the Sanctum. Inside, Strange explains the threat of Wanda's use of the Darkhold, with her having summoned monsters to take America's power for herself. But Mortal reveals the Darkhold could do much worse than just summon monsters and that it could allow Wanda to temporarily project her consciousness into the body of her variant, a technique called dreamwalking. It's revealed that the tea that Mortal had given them had contained a drug that incapacitates them since he believes that they are the real threat to his universe, not Wanda Maximoff. Meanwhile, Wanda has already begun the process of dreamwalking and enters the body of her variant, preparing herself to hunt down America. But she's stopped as she's leaving by her sons, looking to get her attention so they can sing her a song about ice cream. In another universe, a surviving sorcerer named Sarah finds a captured Wong and Wanda in the Darkhold, which she then dives on and stabs to destroy, sacrificing herself in the process. This causes Wanda's consciousness to return to her body, so she turns her attention to Wong, who, after Wanda threatens to kill the still-surviving sorcerers, tells her that the Darkhold was just a copy and that the original was transcribed by the demonic entity Kathan on Mount Wandagore. So she forces him to take her there. We then cut back to Strange as he wakes up, cuffed and locked inside a polycarbonate cell next to America, before being met by this universe's Christine. He's revealed to be an expert in multiversal research who began working at this facility following Strange's death in her universe, labeled as Earth-838. Although she does reveal that she and Steven never ended up figuring things out in this universe either. She also gives an official label to our main Marvel Cinematic Universe, Earth-616. Strange attempts to convince Christine to free them, claiming that no matter how dangerous she may think he is, someone much more dangerous is trying to hunt down America. But he's interrupted by Mordo, who arrives with an army of Ultron centuries. On Earth-616, they were created as a result of Tony Stark, aka Iron Man's failed experiment to create a peacekeeping program to act as a suit of armor around the world. But it appears on Earth-838 that his experiment was successful, as they seem to have control over the Ultron bots. The Illuminati will see you now, Strange is then taken before the aforementioned Illuminati, first being introduced to Captain Carter, a variant of Agent Peggy Carter who we met back in 2011 on Earth-616 during the Allied Forces' war against the Axis powers and Hydra. She had also been witness to a super-soldier experiment that gave Steve Rogers, aka Captain America, his superhuman powers. But on Earth-838, it appears she was the one who took the super-soldier serum instead of Rogers, as we saw in Marvel's Disney Plus series What If? However, that universe seems to have taken place in a universe separate from Earth-838 and 616. Strange is then introduced to Blackagar Boltagon, aka Black Bolt, who he hadn't been introduced to in the MCU until this point, but the actor portraying him in this film, Anson Mount, also portrayed the character in Marvel's Inhuman series back in 2017. That series took place in a universe that appears to have been separate from any scene in the MCU so far. Next, Mortar introduces Captain Marvel, although it's not a Carol Danvers variant, but rather a Maria Rambo variant. On Earth-616, Carol Danvers' best friend until her accident that turned her into the incredibly powerful Captain Marvel. The final member introduced, for now, is a man described as the smartest man alive, Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four. This is another variant that we hadn't yet been introduced to in the MCU. 
Unlike Black Bolt, we've never seen John Krasinski portray this character outside of this film. The other feature film portrayals were played by Johan Griffin back in 2005 and 2007 and Miles Teller back in 2015. Richards explains the risks of strange survival in their universe, claiming if he leaves a large enough footprint behind on this reality, it could cause an incursion.